I guess you're all waiting for dessert, but we have to do our entrees first, so the anticipation is mounting. Let me introduce Dave. He's going to show you how to make some Cajun, Cajun meatloaf. meatloaf. You betcha. So, and if you thought last week's episodes were hot when we were barbecuing, well, now we're going to get hot and spicy. So, today we're going to make Cajun meatloaf. This is not your mother's meatloaf. I hate my mother's meatloaf. I hope she's not watching this. Um, but today you're gonna we're gonna make a meatloaf you're gonna absolutely love now It's a little time consuming, but it's not very difficult It's just a little bit of time to chop and make sure you measure properly But beyond that this is one of the best meatloafs you're ever gonna have. Let me tell you what we got here today um, You're gonna have a pound and a half of ground beef and then about a half a pound of ground pork And that really helps with the flavor profile a little bit So we definitely want to mix those two together. We have half a cup of ketchup half a cup of evaporated milk. Let's make sure we get that on camera, evaporated milk. Okay, you wanna make sure you get the evaporated milk and not the condensed sweet milk. We have two eggs, a cup of breadcrumbs, and then for the flavoring, as you'll see, we have a half a teaspoon of cumin, a half a teaspoon each of black pepper and white pepper, a half a teaspoon of nutmeg, full teaspoon of cayenne pepper. If you really want to spice it up, you can crank that up a little bit, but trust me, it's going to be hot enough. And a tablespoon of salt. So what we're going to do first is we're going to take four teaspoons of butter. I'm going to pop that in. Now I like to still use a little bit of olive oil. So we're going to put in maybe about a teaspoon or two, a tablespoon of olive oil. Again, it just helps the flavor profile a little bit. And we're going to let that uh, melt down. Whoops. And, and they fly all over the stove. So there you go. I'm feeling like Julia Child at this point in time. How many beers have you had so far, Dave? <laughs> Just a half of one, but as you can tell, the, the butter and all that stuff looks great on the stove. So, yeah. okay, <laughs> good thing I'm the cleanup guy as well. All right, now what we're gonna do, once this gets um, a little bubbly, you're gonna see it's gonna foam up a little bit. You can hear it. You can actually see I don't hear bubbles. nothing. Yeah, exactly. You can actually <laughs> see some of the bubbles that's melting real nice. And what we wanna do is we're gonna add to the butter we're going to take one full cup of chopped onions. So we're going to pop that in. Feel the burn, hear the sizzle. We're going to have a half a cup of, and by the way, that is one, a half of a large onion. This is about a half a cup of scallions. That's essentially one scallion. You want to dice that up, pop that in. You have a half a cup of celery. That's about one very large celery stalk or if you get some of the ones that are cut down, they don't have the, the, the leaves on top, it's about one and a half stalks. Again, you can see how nicely chopped up and fine those are. I wanna pop that in. We have a half cup of green peppers. And again, that's about half a pepper. And finally, we wanna take about three or four garlic cloves. I like a lot of garlic. I don't think you can ever have enough garlic, so I'm gonna put in four and nicely diced up, pop those in, get that stirring up, start hearing the sizzle, let's crank up the heat a little bit. Now, while that's cooking, we want to add to that all the spices as well. And this is really going to set the, uh, the aroma off, but let's, let's put that right in, and I'll tell you why in a second. All right, so again, tablespoon of salt, half a teaspoon of cumin. Hit it, Dave! Teaspoon, this is really going to get your, uh, your eyes watering. This is the uh, cayenne pepper. You can use um, chili pepper if you want, but cayenne's really the best. Here's your uh, two peppers, pop that in. And finally, a little bit of nutmeg. And what you call a nutmeg. Do, there you go. What we want to do is, it's almost going to be making like a little bit of a roux here. So we're going to let that cook uh, probably for about, I would say six or seven minutes. What you want is for this thing to really fire up. And what's going to happen is this thing's going to start getting thick and it's going to start sticking to the bottom of the pan. And that's what we want. And it's going to take about six minutes on medium, medium high. So we'll be right back in a few seconds. We'll show you what that looks like. All righty, here we go. It's me, Mr. Sizzle. Shh. Oh, actually, it's in the pan. Okay, you can start seeing it's really starting to thicken up. It's starting to stick to the bottom a little bit. And that's what we want. So we probably have another three or four minutes. But this is what you want to start getting to. And the flavor and the aroma that's coming off here is just unbelievable. And wait till this actually goes into the meatloaf, this thing cooks up. You're gonna love this thing. If you take a look, you can see how it's sticking to the bottom. You can see they're nicely cooked up. It's, it's very thick at this point in time. And that's exactly the consistency we're looking for. To that, we wanna add the evaporated milk. Again, evaporated milk, not condensed sweetened milk. I'll pop that right in. 
That's about a half a cup, and we got about a half a cup of ketchup. And we're gonna let, we're gonna stir that all in nicely, and we're gonna let that cook for another, probably about two or three minutes at best, just to get it nice and hot and blended, get all those flavors melting together. And then we're gonna set it aside and let it cool down to room temperature. And of course, the magic of web TV, we will be doing that uh, very quickly. So, see you in a few seconds. All right, it's been cooking for three minutes. You see how clean it is on the bottom? This is absolutely perfect. We're gonna turn off the heat. We're gonna take it off the heat. We're gonna let it cool down to room temperature. And we'll be back in a, in a few seconds. And we're back again? Back again. We, you just need another beer, right? Yeah. Now we're gonna put the meatloaf together through the magic of web television. That, of course, is nice and cool. What we're gonna do is I've already put our pound and a half of beef in the bowl. We're gonna put our half a pound of pork in there next. I wanna pop in, again, a cup of breadcrumbs. Again, a cup of breadcrumbs? Uh, I thought I did it once. That's right. And we got two eggs. Now, again, you wanna, you don't wanna crack those and put them right in. You wanna put them individually so you don't get any shells. Nothing worse than having some shells in there, so. I like the shells. It gives uh, it that crunchy texture. It sure does. It gives it a little bit of color and everything else. So, and to get your calcium for the day. All right, got two of those in there. We're gonna put our paddle on. Now, I'm making this in the, uh, the mixing machine or the mix master. You don't actually have to do that. You, you can do it by hand in a bowl. And what a lot of people do, because we're gonna put it right in here in a nine by 13 inch uh, Pyrex dish. You can actually mix it right here if you want to do that, but I think it looks sexier for web TV to, to actually do it. Here. He's just lazy, to be honest. There is that too. And I don't want to get my hands dirty, you know. All right, now we're going to take that lovely stuff that we claim we cooled down. As you can see, it's still flaming hot. <laughs> <clears throat> and we're going to pop that right in. It's pretty good, man. Oh, he's, turn it on too. He's, he's throwing sauce all over me right now. <laughs> well, I told you it was going to be a hot and spicy day. <laughs> all right, we got that in there. We're gonna pop this up and very gently put it on low speed just for a couple minutes. Now I like to do it in here because I like my meatloaf really dense. Now some people like it more crumbly so you can do it by hand again in a bowl or you can do it by hand in the, in, in the pan itself. I like to do it here, you'll get a nice little sheen to it but it's really gonna pull all those flavors together make sure that it's mixed really well and uh, it has a little bit more of a dense feel to it, and that's, that's really what I like. So we're gonna let this go probably about two minutes, and then I'm gonna show you how to put this thing in the pan, shape it like a meatloaf, and then I'll tell you how to cook it. Everything's all mixed up, and now I'm gonna show you how to plate this You're thing. You're talking about the chef or the food? Yeah, that too. The chef's already stewed. Oh, I mean, all right, hold on. All right, let's take this out. Now you're still gonna have to get your hands dirty. I mean, still, you haven't touched it yet. That's darn right. <laughs> I'm putting my apron on later too, so shut up. All right, let's get that out of there. All right, here's what we want to do. I'm going to get all this off of here, and I'm going to show you how to plate this up. Now, all you want to do, again, this is an ungreased um, Pyrex dish. Or you could use, if you wanted to, you could use a, a cookie sheet, or I guess it's more appropriately called a, um, yeah, whatever they call it, one of the metal pans. <laughs> we'll leave it at that. All right. Have another beer, Dave. You'll figure it yeah, out. Exactly. It's a meat bomb. All right. So now you want to put it where you want to get it to about, you know, six, seven inches wide, about 12 inches long, and about two inches high. But you want to just keep shaping it, pushing it down. We want this thing to fall apart while it cooks. And what we're going to do is we're going to put this in the oven and we're going to cook it at 350 degrees for about a half an hour. And then what we actually want to do, which is contrary to most, most, most cooking, is we're actually going to crank the, the, the heat up a little bit to 400 degrees and we're going to put that in 400 degrees for another 30 minutes. And that's going to get a really nice crust to it. It's going to make sure that the, the pork is nicely cooked. And um, so we're going to pop this in the oven in about two seconds here. And that's how you want to shape it up. While we're at it, since it's almost the same instructions for this, we're going to put this in for about a half an hour. And then we're just going to let the bread pudding brown at the 400 for about 15, 20 minutes. So we can do two for one. Okay, hold on, because last time we did a dance, so, you know, we gotta do, we gotta do, okay. <laughs> See you in a few. I need a few more beers and then I can do this. Okay, we're at the halfway point, uh, 350 for 30 minutes. We'll show you what it looks like. All right, that's the bread pudding. That's the uh, Cajun meatloaf. We're now gonna crank this thing up for, to about 400 degrees. And for the bread pudding, we're gonna do just 15 minutes, but for the Cajun meatloaf, we're gonna do another half an hour. All right. Well, our little beeper went off, and uh, we want to take out some of the hot stuff. Actually, we're going to take out some of the sweet stuff today. 
I'm gonna take out the bread pudding. That's been in for about 45 minutes. Oh yeah. All righty. And we got another 15 on another the, 15 on yeah, our the meatloaf. meatloaf it's yeah, looking good, baby. smelling great. We're gonna crank that back up. Uh, guarantee. There you go, another 15 minutes. And we're off. <laughs> we're rolling. All righty, here we go. Anyway, our Cajun meatloaf is ready to go, so let's check it out. You can really smell that too. Perfect. Can you smell that? Okay. <laughs> All right. We'll put it up here next to our liverly red pudding. And there's the meatloaf. Can you tell the difference? Eh? 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 They almost look alike. <laughs> Just don't confuse me. You don't want to put whipped cream on the uh, Cajun meatloaf. All right. You're going to talk it through? Nothing to talk about. Cajun meatloaf. There it is. <laughs> I cut it. It's ready to go. Go away. We're eating.